Hello, welcome to this video in which we are going to see what is Gedo, the project, how is it useful and how you can use it to scale your deployments in Kubernetes using data that you have in Datadog. So let's get started. So without further ado, let's go here to the website of the Keda project. Uh, Keda is a CNCF project, so it's completely open source, part of the CNCF. And basically, as it says here, it's a Kubernetes event driven auto scaling. So basically it helps you uh, use your HPA scaler. So the horizontal port auto scaler in Kubernetes using external events. And those external events can come from a variety of places. And that is how extendable is Keta. So basically you have here a set of scalers that you can use basically all these uh, input data where it comes from. So you can scale based your Kafka topics, on your CloudWatch metrics, um, all the list is here. And from version 2.6 of Keta, which was released some days ago, uh, you can also use your Datadog metrics using the Datadog scaler. Uh, if you're already using the HPA or the scaler with custom metrics coming from the cluster agent at Datadog, uh, you can continue using that. Um, that's the recommended way, by the way, if you're using only Datadog. But if you're already using Keda and you already need to have multiple uh, different inputs, using Keda and the Datadog Scaler could be a good solution. So um, if we go here uh, on Datadog documentation, uh, you can see that basically what you're going to use um, is one of the many multiple uh, metrics that you have in Datadog. But to explain how to use it, uh, let's do a demo instead. Um, you can also always look at the documentation. I'm going to put some links in the description. So first of all, uh, let's see what we have in our cluster running already. So we have the Datadog agent, node agent, a cluster agent up and running here and sending data to our Datadog account. Um, I also have the Keta uh, controller. Uh, so here the, it's the operator that it's going to understand all the different objects that I'm going to be creating. And also the metrics API server that Keta exposes. And this is one of the things that um, Keta tries to overcome, one of the limitations that tries to overcome. So in Kubernetes, if you're using a custom metric server, uh, for example, the one coming from the cluster agent at Datadog, that's the only one that you can use, that you can deploy. Um, so if you need inputs from several places, um, you can only have one metric server. So Keta tries to overcome this by exposing just one metric server, no matter where the input is coming from, and then having several plugins uh, called scalers that you're going to be able to, to get information from to drive your scaling events. So let's, um, the first thing that we need to do if we are going to use the Datadog Scaler, by the way, the Datadog Scaler is already embedded on the um, Keta controller, so you don't have to deploy anything else on top of it. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is to uh, authenticate to our Datadog account. Why? Because we need to gather data from Datadog account for matrix value in order to, to use uh, those scaling events. So we already have deployed um, in this cluster um, a secret with our API key and an app key. And this is how we are telling, uh, we are going to tell uh, Keta um, to, to um, authenticate into our data account. So let's do that first. And basically the only thing that it does is to um, tell Keta where to find that information if it needs it. Um, by the way, so far it hasn't do anything. It's just created the object. Only when I create um, the second object, which is called in Keta uh, and a scale object is when it's going to try to connect to our data account. So what is a scale object in Keta? A scale object in Keta is basically the way you describe your horizontal port of the scalar needs. Um, in this case, I'm going to tell it, um, 
I'm going to use this deployment, Nginx, that we haven't created yet. We are going to create it in a bit. Um, you ex specify some things like the minimum number of replicas that, that we want. In this case, it's one. We don't want to scale to zero. The maximum replica counts. How often do we want to gather information from Datadog? In this case, it's five seconds. Um, the type of a scaler, in this case, Datadog. And basically, the query in Datadog that we want to use to drive our scaling events. So in this case, we are telling uh, that we want to use the number of requests per second to an Nginx deployment, and we want to, that to be on average two per replica. So if it goes above that, um, we want Keta and the HPA scaler to start scaling that up. Um, and also we, we want to tell it how to connect to Datadog through this triggered auth object that we have um, created here. And this is basically our Nginx deployment that we are going to create. Um, we are going to enable the Nginx integration of Datadog, so it is start sending those metrics to, to Datadog. So let's, let's deploy that first. So we have created that deployment and the service, and now we are going to also create that scale object. And we are going to see what happens when we do this. So obviously we create uh, the scale object, um, which is specific, is a CRD uh, that Keta has. And it says that our target is the Nginx deployment that we just created, the minimum and maximum number of replicas, the type of a scaler that we want, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what happens here is that once you create the scale object, um, automatically Keta is going to create the associated HPA object, horizontal portal scaler for this. So if, now if we we see this, now we see that we have um, our associated HPA object, also for the deployment Nginx, uh, our target, which is two requests per second per replica on average, and the current number of uh, replicas that, that we have. Right now it says that it's unknown, the number of requests per second, because obviously we don't have enough data yet. We are not doing any um, any request to this service, so it doesn't have that metric yet in Datadog. So let's let's fix that by faking some some fake traffic. So we are going to create this deployment uh, with three replicas. That basically the only thing is a is a busy boss container that is going to start creating um, requests to our nginx service. So let's let's uh, create that fake traffic. If we get number of the pods, now we are creating three replicas of this fake traffic that basically what it's going to do is to start creating uh, that an number of requests to our Nginx deployment. Um, so obviously it's going to take um, a while while it's creating those requests and it's creating um, that number of, of uh, requests per second, sending that traffic to to um, Datadog and obviously getting that traffic back. So let's let's have a look to our Datadog account. So obviously we are gathering all this information uh, for our for Datadog. Uh, we have the containers that are running on our cluster. Um, we have a single cluster only on this account, which is our Keta demo cluster. Uh, you can see the number of pods that we have in and the status of those pods. So you can see the fake traffic ones here. Uh, and this is a live view of your, of your cluster. So it's a, also a good way to see what is happening on your cluster without having to um, keep CTL on, on each of those. Um, we have the, the deployments. And uh, let's have a look to the uh, default dashboard for the Nginx. Uh, let's try to have a look here. So 
So if we open, um, if we enable the Nginx integration in Datadog, we are going to start gathering information about our Nginx deployment here. And you can see that we, we start having several connection, the request per second has been up, um, et cetera, et cetera. So let's see how, what, what it's doing that to our HPA object. You can see that it already happened. So the number of requests went up, obviously we force it very much. So we created a lot of requests per second. Um, but what happened is that um, that target, that metric value was obtained from Datadog, from our Datadog account, and it drove a scaling event to the maximum of replica. So if now we go to, um, to a number of pods here, we can see that suddenly we have three Nginx pods. So let's do the opposite. Let's uh, remove that fake traffic. And what it's going to happen is obviously the number of requests per second to our Nginx is going to drop <laughs> radically to, to zero. Um, and the HPA object is going to wait um, for some minutes before it starts scaling down. It's, it's what we call the cool down period. Uh, to avoid uh, having a metric that having the number of replicas going down and up very often, which is not efficient. So we are going to wait some minutes. Uh, we are, I'm going to do some magic at the time. And then we are going to see um, how this is, this is going. Okay, as you can see, uh, as time passed by, and uh, the number of, of uh, requests went down, uh, the HPA, so it's the HPA that drives those scaling events, has reduced the number of replicas from, from three to two, and it's going to continue uh, decreasing that number. And if we go to our Datadog account, you can see here a clear correlation between the number of requests um, that the Nginx deployment was getting versus the number of replicas. So we started with one replica and then we forced that fake traffic up and it went to the maximum of three replicas. And when we remove that traffic back down uh, to zero, the HPA started reacting and moving that back to two now and then uh, to one later. Good. Uh, so. If uh, that was it for today, uh, if you want to use the Datadog Scaler, obviously uh, feel free to do so. It's completely open source. Uh, so give it a try and, and let us know. Thanks very much.